guys welcome back to our channel best cooking and adventure i hope you guys been staying safe and doing well and you know getting your booster shot and everything you know um and prevent from covid so today my uncle and my aunt will be um getting some water coconut and also um my aunt will be making a guyana broom who knows what that is i know a lot of our guyana people um, Guyanese will know what I'm talking about. So here we go, guys. So this is some of the trees um, that between the coconut tree we um, my uncle is trying to get to. So he's going to pick the coconut first, cut some branches, and then um, bring it back to the house so they could get all those um, branch prepared for making the broom. So and I'm going to um, walk you guys through how that's been done. He actually standing there waiting. <laughs> so my uncle is trying to get a coconut and he used a stick with a hook on the end. So in that way he um, prevent him from trying to climb coconut tree. As you guys know coconut tree is very difficult to climb. A lot of kids and a lot of people know how to climb them but you know and make it look easy but it's very hard to climb. Yeah, the coconut fall in the little um, trench that go run by. But he will get it. So here it is, guys. He got it. He got it. And that's a uh, machete cutlass. We call it cutlass, machete, you know. Um, whichever you guys call it. But from where I'm from in Guyana, um, we call it cutlass. So from a coconut tree you use everything from it you use the fruits you use the branch you use everything from a coconut tree look at that and I had coconut from this tree before guys um, hobby did too and as he said it was very sweet nothing like a fresh water coconut straight from the tree look at that jelly and that's just perfect that's the water coconut you want to have. So we get the branch all back to the house. And here we are going to start preparing it to make the broom. So now my uncle is going to start and my aunt. They're going to start stripping the branch to get it ready to make the broom. Broom is something very expensive in Guyana, guys. I mean, um, you know, for people there. So most people will make their broom. Some will buy it too. It, it is available in the market to purchase. And sometimes people walk and sell it. But you, you could simply get a couple branch from a coconut tree and make your own. So here you want all the top part of it. Those are the stronger um, strips that you need to use to make the broom. So the bottom is too short and it's, and it's too small. So look at that. My uncle just got it done. Huh? You know exactly what he's doing. So while he get all this off, uh, all is finished stripping then my aunt will do some stripping too so this is my aunt stripping it all out getting all clean they call cleaning the broom and she's making it into um a lot of we call it pinters so she could put the broom together look at that so that will turn into a broom she will sit, she will strip all of that and she will get a broom. And it don't take, it will take her like maybe an hour, hour and a half and she will get the broom. Look at that, it's getting there. 
So yes, guys, this is how, you know, getting some water coconut and making a broom. And this is the finished product, guys. Look at that. And it take her like an hour and an hour and a half to make this broom, guy. And she have a broom. This is a stand, guys, to put a fire side. So here my uncle is getting it ready to put a fire side on it. So my aunt always wants a fire side. She had one and it broke in. So he is getting her a next one. So here he is filling it up with some mud. So he could get it all level. That he could set the fire side on it. <clears throat> so it's all got to be level. So here he is all level. So he put the fire side on. And this one here, they have one with two, they call it eilers. Two eilers, three eilers, but this is a one eiler one. So he's getting it set. It. So he's getting it exactly where my aunt wanted. So she wanted it in like a corner, not in the middle of the stand. She wanted, you know, she want, she wanted it in a little corner. So he set it and he's getting it level. So here he had some more of mud, some more different mud on it. I guess some um I guess this this one is a little wet. So he's gonna fold this all around it. Here he is soaking it a little bit so it could be all wet. So this help it to be settled and level out. So you gotta soak it really good and again he's gonna be pressing it down with this piece of wood and make sure it's all compact together look at that guy look look how smooth he's gonna be smoothing in it out now Everything I'm making the wife happy, so he's making it all nice. So here he put the water more, so the water helped the, the mud to be to soft and getting it smooth. So now my, my aunt is, is using some mud from the water the side, we call it the blue mud. Side. She is using that to, we call it dab. Mm -hmm. What kind of mud is this? So she is dabbing the fire side here guys. The fire side is going to be right. all set to be lit in a minute. Look at that. It's going to be all neat and nice. You guys who cook on fireside know what I'm talking about. Huh? Nothing like putting that blue mud on it. Look at that. Here we have the fireside. Perfect. Okay. Here we have the fireside. So it's all Ready light up now, guys. Look at that. Today we're going to make sugar cake using two dried coconuts. Who remember this guys? I know a lot of you use it back in the days. This is the coconut all plated. Getting the car heat to be all heated, then the sugar gonna be poured in. The ingredients we have here essence, spice, some milk, sugar, and coloring. Food coloring. So here guys, the sugar is all in and this is going to keep stirring until it becomes the pack. It's going to be all melted. So you have to keep stirring it. Um, you don't want it to stay in one place. So you keep stirring, stirring or it's going to become all burnt. So you just want to keep stirring it all around. My aunt knows just how to do it guys. is now melted with the milk and we add coconut
coconut, the coloring, and the meat. Adding the essence. Add some cinnamon spice sticks. It was spread out on a table and left to cold, guys. It formed like in a to a cake. Here we have we are cut it and going to taste it. really good hope you enjoyed this video guys thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing don't forget to share our videos and um, until next time guys you never know cooking our adventure you guys stay safe and stay blessed